Hi, second grade. Today we're going to be learning some more about place value, and we're going to learn about it in a little bit of a different way. We're going to talk about all these different ways to show a number. We're going to focus on word form, expanded form, using base 10 blocks, and then standard form. So I'm going to shrink this poster a little bit. I'm going to move it over here. And we're just going to look over here at what we have. So standard form, if you look over here, standard form is just the number. It's just the nice plain number. So it's just looking up here at how many base 10 blocks I have and figuring out my number. So I have 100, 200, so I know that I have two hundreds. I have one, two, three, four tens, and then I have three ones. So my standard form is just writing my number out in standard form. My base 10 is already shown over here. But they would like you to go over here and drag these over. So I would just make it look just the same as it looks up there. So I would just drag over my two hundreds, my four tens, and my three ones. One, two, three. So easy peasy, right? Standard form is just my number. Base 10, we already know. Here's where things are going to be a little bit new, a little bit different. So you're going to want to pay attention to this part. Expanded form is taking all of these and adding them together, okay? So if I have two hundreds, I have 200, right? So it's taking, adding up all my hundreds together by ones would be 200. Plus, how many is four tens? 40, plus three ones. So expanded form is really breaking apart that place value and saying I have 200 plus 40 plus three. So that's the part that's a little bit new. We'll go over that again if we're here on this next slide. Word form is how would you say the number out loud? So 243 would be the answer for that. So really the only one on here that's new is this expanded form. So let's do another one for practice. If I go over here, now I have 454. So now they've given me the word form 454. They've given that to me. Now I have to figure out all these other ones. So 454. So I'm going to write 454 here. That's the easy peasy one. This is also pretty simple, right? So 400s. I'm barely going to fit this in here. I might have to stack them. Five tens. One, two, three, four and five and four ones. So I'll drag my ones over there. One, two, three, four. Good, so 454, 400, five ones, four, five tens, four ones. Let's look at this expanded form again, okay? So what is this saying? What is 454 really saying? So let's look at this over here. How many hundreds do I have? One, two, three, four. I have four hundreds, which is 400. So just go one step at a time, one place value at a time. So first I'm gonna look at these hundreds on my place values, that's 400. Then over here, one, two, three, four, five. I have five tens, which is 50. So 50 plus I have four ones. So my expanded form would be 400, plus 50, plus four, okay? So not too bad, all you have to do is look at each section. So you're adding up your hundreds, you're adding up your tens, you're adding up your ones. Sometimes they're gonna give you the number in different ways. So this one gives you the number in standard form. So that one's simple, because you just copy it. And then you have to find the other ways to do it. So as you work through the slides, this one's giving it to you in expanded form. So can you look at that? 600 plus 30 plus 5, 635, right? So the only one that's really new is that expanded form. I'm going to have this poster up here um, on slide two for you to go back and reference in case you need to, um, but just to look at the different kinds of ways that you can show a number. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this activity. Have a great day.